Hi everybody, Joe Fisher here, over here. Welcome to the first official wet test of my new electric brewing system. Give you a quick uh, tour of the system here. Over there, you can see the spa panel on the wall with a 50 amp GFCI breaker. Four wire 50 amp outlet. Goes to my brewing control panel. We'll go around back here. You can see we've got the 30 amp plug for the boil kettle. Cooling fan. These are individually switched 110 volt outlets that are switched from the front. Alright, giant on off switch. We've got, uh, I guess, about six gallons of water in there. You can just about see my heat stick at the bottom of that. That's the power box for the heat stick. And the front of the panel, which we'll turn on now. So you can see the PID for the hot liquor tank is freaking out because there's no uh, RTD connected. This wire here goes to a quick connect for the temperature probe, which is teed in to the Whirlpool port. So this is the main dump on the bottom, one inch full port butterfly. And this is going to be the recirculation port. So since I really only need to know the temperature of the boil during cooling, I figured that would be a fine place for it since I recirculate during cooling. Alright. So let me zoom in on the box here so we can see what we're doing. How's that? Let me do the manual zoom. All right. Now I'm going to run this in manual mode because since it's a boil, we really don't care about temperature. We just care about power. So right now it's set at zero, which should mean that we get nothing at the element. So this switch runs a relay or a contactor that cuts power entirely to the element. So no matter what this PID is doing, if this switch is off, then there's no power at the element. So that's kind of a safety thing. The, the element's switched by the PID and by the solid state relay in the box, but I wanted a little extra layer of safety in case I need to work with things while the system is running. So, you'll hear a click when I turn it on. That'll be the relay kicking over. So now the system's hot. Nothing's happening yet, so let's give it a little oomph. Let's see. Turn it up to 25% and see if it does anything. Is it boiling yet? Not yet. We'll be back in a few minutes. This is the boring part. See if we can figure out how long this will take. Alright guys, I don't know how well you can see in there. But it's been about 35 minutes. And the probe is reading 190. We're coming to a boil right around the element. So we're at 100% duty cycle now on the element. So I'm going to let it come up to a full boil and then turn the element down a bit and see what it takes to maintain a decent boil. Because we shouldn't have to run it anywhere near full power to keep it at a boil once we get it there.
we are at 40 minutes. Coming to a good hard boil now. <laughs> 